<laughs> That's <laughs> do do it one more time. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> That's Das Boot. <laughs> that was <laughs> so funny. Hey, folks, sorry for the little delay there. I got a young puppy who loves to uh, ruin my internet connection at the last minute. So, you know, we're back. We're still here. We're, you know, Chubbs, Chubbs had a few dirty jokes. That may or may not have been approved for the pod. We are not going to know because they're they're not recorded, right? Not recorded at all. Oh, what a sight! Oh, I got the shit. There's shit all over my screen. <laughs> what a sound, though. You got yeah. Hey, you got to damn get in there to play it, though. You know. <laughs> That's true. That is very true. Um, shit. Uh, yeah. So what I don't even we were we were talking about Das Boot. We were, what were we talking about? It, I don't know if it matters. I got an I got something for us to talk about though. And it's been weighing on my mind for the last three days. All right, well. Three days. Are you ready for this? It is football related. All right. And I don't know if I you may know about it already. You may not. Okay. That does importance. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Whatever you got. Have you ever heard of IMG Academy? IMG Academy. I don't think so, no. Okay. They are a um like a private academy school. If you go there, you go on D1 and whatever sport you play. IMG Academy is huge for having D1 athletes. They're always on ESPN. They're doing this, doing that. Have you heard anything about them in the news lately? No. I've heard. No, I have not. I heard it was something else that I heard. Go ahead. What did you hear, though? Hold on, because it pertains to the story. What did you hear? I heard that ESPN (laughs) broadcasted a fake high school (laughs) So that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Chubsy. So IMG Academy, a real school full of real people, real, I mean, the other school had real people, but full of real high school, 14 to 18 year old D1 prospects, scholarship ready type of players plays on ESPN. I don't even know. I would say five times a year has a game. (laughs) Against a high school out of Ohio, Ohio, <laughs> called Bishop Sycamore. That's it. That's that's Sycamore. I knew a Sycamore was in there. Bishop Sycamore, however, claiming they're a high school out of Ohio. Not only are they not a high school, none of those kids are high school aged. <laughs> what was it? Just they're, they're just... all they they're all. Juco athletes. Oh damn. Right. And the the head coach is an actual head coach, but there's nothing that proves that they're a part of the uh what is it like the Ohio the OHSA, the yeah. Ohio High School Athletic uh IPA, whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beer podcast. What do we do? Um so apparently they played two games in three days, and their their second game was against this IMG Academy, who's got tons of D one talent. Lost fifty eight nothing. The IMG Academy did. No, IMG Academy beat fake team fifty eight nothing. <laughs> this is a fake school. So what? All right. So then, my dumbass being slight of brain tissue what <laughs> what's their, why why are they doing this that seems to be a lot of work to what make up a school to be on espn i mean what are they trying to do got to be to get on espn right i don't know i mean if you got all these juco kids pretending to be a high school what what the fuck is their point Seriously? I mean... Yeah, I'm just as baffled when I found it out. I was like, 
This is a high is is he's their college kid. You know the best part though. I'm sorry, I, I'm jotting back and forth, but the best part I heard read this morning, and so I was on the toilet taking a poop, that uh that they interviewed a kid who like a cornerback, and they go, Hey man, you're the youngest kid on the team. How old are you? And this motherfucker goes 23. Are you serious? He said, he goes, yeah, I'm 23 years old. Not even thinking, hey, I'm supposed to pretend to be a high school kid. <laughs> and this motherfucker got whipped He's... by a bunch of high school kids. Oh, Bitch, yeah. Nothing. Dude, it was, they scored 14 points in the second half. Holy shit. But I just, yeah. it, it interests me because you see that, you know, because I'm on Twitter a lot just fucking around with Viking stuff, but. I'm like, all right, what's your point? What are you trying to get out of what you're trying to do? You're trying to beat down a bunch of high school kids? And, that, and that's what makes me laugh right now is this fucking IMG Academy throws 58 on them. <laughs> yes, dude. You go kids, are fucking 23-year-old, just a bunch of dummies and just smoking weed at halftime. Like, hey, these motherfuckers, <laughs> hey. Right. Yeah, well, they can't. Right. Like they did play. You're down forty four to nothing at halftime. So what what is your point? Why are you trying to be a pretend high school? Right. And you know what's a crazy thing? I don't know if it's true. But Monday morning, as I'm reading or it might have been Sunday night, as I'm reading about this, it did say that the head coach of this Bishop Sycamore has a warrant out for his arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue. I was like, "Wow, it just gets better and better and better." And that is fucking awesome. It's like, what are you supposed to do with that? Why not let him? Fuck it, let him play on ESPN. Yeah, we'll let him. Get, play. Uh, we'll get um, Megat. We'll get uh, Battle X. We'll get uh, Paul Cruz. We'll get Paul Cruz. We'll get all of them on the team on the team playing them. And then we'll play the guards and what? you know for freedom. What was their mascot? <laughs> Dude, they were the uh like a Trojan or like a uh like a knight, like something like that. That's what their their logo looks like. Horrible. It was shit, oh. and it was, it was so <laughs> weird. They were like, Hey, let's go play a bunch of high school kids. Hey, we're on ESPN. Mom, I'm on ESPN. Son of Kate you out of the house five years ago. Yo, ma, yo, yo, coach, I gotta go. Yeah. You know, he's got yeah. house. He's fucking 23 years old. You've been working full time and you got three yeah. kids for four years now. Yeah. You... <laughs> he's been <laughs> longer than me. And this motherfucker's playing Juco ball against a high school football team and got his ass kicked. By high school kids, yes. Got his ass kicked. Got their ass kicked. 58 nothing. Blowout. All right. Well, I'm glad I know the whole story now because all I've been. All I have been seeing on Twitter and all that shit is, hey. Memes? What, yeah, Bishop Sycamore. Bishop Sycamore. Like, what the fuck is this all about? Dude. <clears throat> anyway. So that's so funny. You've been seeing that shit. I have a... Um... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this, is a, this is a screenshot I took by Bleacher Report. That's their coach. And in the bottom it says... Bishop Sycamore head coach Roy Johnson was fired after Sunday's loss. <laughs> hey, maybe McMichael can fucking hire him. Never know. Never know what fucking works, man. Oh man. Well, no, I thought I took a. Oh, I thought I took a picture of something else. Well, where is it at? Oh damn it, dude! Killer hat. Thanks, man. It's the first time I'm wearing it, and I think it's going to be only an only pod thing. Damn it, son. I like that a lot. That's just that's Clean. old. That's old style clash right there. Was that a Ford Model T? I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know who T is. That damn Bishop Sickham. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, so it's a damn Juco team full of Juco athletes. Last chance you just played a high school team and got their ass kicked. A made-up team. Bunch of a bunch of Juco pride dropouts. Made up high. That's fucking awesome. And Everything is made up. 
And the best part is the dummies at ESPN believed him. Yeah. They're all about a story. The dummies at ESPN believed him. It, it, it blows my mind, you know? ESPN is... They suck, dude. Really? That's, my per- that's my personal opinion. I'm sticking with it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where it's at. I saved some shit. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. I saved some... Uh... It says... <laughs> it says... It says 44 nothing and yeah. with 201 left in the third quarter. Okay, this is an Instagram post, and it says there has allegedly never been a Bishop Sycamore. <laughs> skip, skip. Says, hey, hey, skip. Hey, skip. I want my restitution. Okay. <laughs> um, they played two football games in three days. Their head coach allegedly has an active warrant, <laughs> active arrest warrant. Oh my god, that's fucking. Most awful. of the players are allegedly junior college dropouts. Who are nowhere near the high school age. <laughs> that is hilarious that they got busted. So they got busted. Anybody getting arrested besides head coach with a warrant? <laughs> yeah. it's just the coach. But I saw something else that was pretty funny. It was uh oh, I just drew a blank. But it was I think it was a different high school who did some of the same shit. And oh, they uh it is either a different high school or this high school. I say this high school. They're not high school, right? This team. Yeah, they even got you. Team, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, team. You can't spell team without me, right? Um, but this this other high, it might have been them. Or they posted their schedule because they were a fake team. And they're, they're like football schedule. It was like versus this team at this time. This time. Uh-huh. All the times were 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 7 a.m., <laughs> 10 a.m., 11 a.m. And they were like two weeks apart. And this at this video watch, this guy was like, "Who the fuck plays football at three in the morning?" But, 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 how did they get on the schedule? Schedules come out fucking three months in advance, even even longer than that. I do think I do think these types of of games are scheduled a little differently. Oh, because they're because they're on TV, so they. Yeah. they I think to- they are scheduled a little different. Well, hell, this this. High school team played two games in three days. They played Friday night and then they played Sunday on ESPN. Brought to you by Papa John's. <laughs> Holy fuck, ESPN! You're a bunch of fucking dumb. <laughs> Got duped. You stupid. Mm. That das boot. Look at that. You're just enjoying that das boot. Well, I swear to God. Listen, let's go after it again. It's Samuel Smith. Mm-hmm. Organic chocolate stout. Yeah. Fucking delicious, man. It's a great, great beer. And it's from the UK. So you folks over there in the UK, send old Chubb some. Send Chubb some. We'll lend, we'll uh, send the uh, his address in the bio down below. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's Chubbs. It's P.O. Box 696969. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your ten grand. Just kidding. Here's twenty three hundred and eighty dollars. My name's Bishop Sycamore, and here's a scholarship. <laughs> oh, hey, great fucking beers on this one, man. That was a great one. Great beers. Great beers. Excited. I am. Are you thankful? <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you, son. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Throw that fist out here. Oh. Uh, all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right, we'll get it next time. We'll get it next time. Uh, let me tell you. These beers are good. Okay, I'm starting to I'm getting I'm getting I'm starting to fill them a little bit. All right. Oh. Your boys, your boys taking a few days off of the old, you know, giving the liver a little breaky poo there. I understand. Yeah. So your boy, seven and a half percent. There's two of them down. I'm like, all right, you know, yep. let's let's five. party. We're good here, I think. Yours is five percent. I think it's only five percent. I got I don't have my glasses, but 
Yeah, I believe this one's only 5%, and it's not a very, very thick stout, which makes me very happy because I love the flavors of stouts, but usually you can only drink about a half of one. I'm with you. I'm with you. Those stouts are – I like the thing that the stouts are very good when you are – when there's snow on the ground, when it's cold outside, you know, when it's like the fire's going, like you got like a nice, thick – Ice. Almost like a Pepto Bismol. There you go. Huh? Mm. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Motherfucker. I told you, though. I told you, though. I might need you to get a refill because I have a story for you. I told you a few days ago that I had a story that I can't wait to share on the pod. Oh, damn. Really? Yeah. Well, hey. if you don't remember, it's fine. I might have to venture into another beer. Venture into another beer. I'll sit here and do the ad reads. You sure? All right. Well, yeah. hold up. That's no, fine. Hold on a minute. Whenever you're ready. All right, no, go ahead. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining the Beers of Brian podcast. This is brought to you in part by Chubbs. When Chubbs is called on, Chubbs is needed upon. Chubbs. Find your Chubbs at any local hardware store. Right in between the hammers and the nails section. Chubb. Can't go wrong with it. Can go wrong without it. Also brought to you in part by Chubb. Chubb is the rub you want to rub on your Chubb. Just kidding. It's the meat rub. For your grill, silly. Oh. Right after these messages. Back to the show, folks. Looks like Chubbsy has presented something that I've never fucking seen before you um hey can i show you the ads i was reading please that's <laughs> <laughs> you're the best at it that's why it's fucking awesome yeah. uh what we got right now is the anchor app anchor.fm or the anchor app on your phone at google play or i app store sorry I, kind of weird anchor i love you what do you got there you little son of a bitch you got a damn I was in the store, our local store here, that sells, you know, we've talked about our famous red oak that we love so much. I looked over to the left right when I got Sammy. Sammy. And I looked down to the left, and I'm like, hold up, red oak doesn't come in a white can. And look. It's not supposed to. Big oak. This one's the Vienna style Bach, not the Bavarian Lager. And I can't lie, had it last Friday. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want to hear it until you try it right here on the pot. All right. I might have to just go straight out to can. Is that all right? Straight can's fine. Don't don't mix beers. You know, we're not we're not in high school anymore. We're not Bishop Sycamore for God's sakes. Oh, very nice. That's a good pod noise. That's a 12 ouncer, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's a little bit sweeter than uh, our favorite red oak. A little clearer. So, it's... But it's a good taste. It's uh, one that um, I'm glad I tried. But um, I don't know what a Vienna style Bach really means, but it, I just know it's a little bit sweeter and it's a little bit, it's not as thick as the Red Oak, the, the Bavarian style lager. And um, it's good, but I'll give it a um, quarter to a half chub. Probably won't get it again. Oh. Good. I just I'm excited. I'm excited that Red Oak actually the Red Oak Brewery actually put something new out, but I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it's got a sweeter taste and just, you know, not my style. Maybe it could be, you know, tonight coming off of the old Sammy, the old Sammy Smith's chocolate stout. That may be a problem, but I, I remember the taste from Friday. I drank one that night as well. And it was good, just wasn't that impressed. So I'm going to go quarter to half a chub on the big Vienna-style Bach. 
The old Vienna sausage red oak, huh? It looks enticing, I will say that. I big oak, I'd jump right into big oak's pants real quick. I was so excited about it, so not very good though, huh? Well, not not a red oak or not the damn what's, what's... Humming, hummingbird or the damn uh what's battlefield. Not as good as that one. That was no, no, hey battlefield, hey. Here's what we could do, though. You could send me some Battlefield when it comes back out in a few months. Well, yeah, we're going to have to throw a care package at you. Maybe a little Texas Pete and some Battlefield. Dude, that would be awesome. We only have many, the smallest <laughs> bottle of Texas Pete. We bought four of them. We're already through uh, one and a half of them. Because, I, I, you know, occasionally, time to time, I put two of my eyeballs to wake up, and I just go ahead and drink half of it uh, in the mornings. Yeah, so we'll, we'll send you a little care package. Oh, good. Hey. So. So, all right. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your floor. The floor is yours. No, no, no. Floor is yours. Talk. Talk. No. Please talk. Please talk. No, say no. something. What's in the box? No. Say something. Say something quick. I have nothing else. Yes, folks. We like to quote a lot of movies. I'm sorry. I'm not friend. really that sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not at all. Just, just letting all these fucking people know that, hey, I like me. My son likes me. And doggone it. I can't remember. The- <laughs> you remember- Good enough. You're remember- kind enough. And doggone it, people like me. All right. One more for the pod. Because I got to say, fucking killing me. So I just wanted you guys. To- oh, good. This is who we are. Listen, listen, I, and I got to say one thing, Brian, can I? Hey, Packers, Bears, Lions fans, the rest of the NFL fans, hey, give us a try. Listen, just know that we're huge Vikings fans, but we're smart football fans. We get when people are really good. We get when players are really good. We get it all. So just, hey, give us a shot because we know, listen, Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks to ever play the fucking game, but – we still hate him because he's so good. But we respect that mustache. Him. As a player in the mustache, he looks like a like a damn wolf with I can't say all the words I want to. No, it, it looks like somebody who would buy a big van and, and sit us out a candy store. You're right. <laughs> it's yeah. my podcast, I can do what I want. <laughs> because he's so good. You know, same thing with the damn Bears defense. Fuck you. Fuck Hakeem Hicks. He's so good. He pushes us around all the time. But all hey, three. Anyway, anyway, I'm just trying. I'm putting it out there. Listen, all you fans out there, man, you're going to love us because we're idiots. We quote movies. We drink beer and whiskey. And we're going to throw a lot of new shit at you. Yeah. All right, bro. My bad. I'm sorry, man. Oh, good. You're totally right, though. We love football to the point of where I'll put this on my uh, wall here and I'll point at Chubbs right there wearing that shirt and I'll say behind Chubbs that I am thankful <laughs> to be a Minnesota Vikings fan. However, Blair Walsh can't kick for shit. Daniel Carlson's going to let the Raiders down. And we can't find a Greg to Joseph his ass through the uprights. I'm just saying. Anywho, Chubbsy, got a story for you. You may Wait. be a little disappointed in your son. Uh- Please, bring it. You may be a little disappointed. Yeah, I get the hard stuff out. You may be a little disappointed. I'm disappointed in you? Yeah. No. Yeah. You may be a little disappointed in me. Not my first. Right. He would never do or wear anything Packers. No, absolutely not. Wouldn't be caught dead in that. I, well, I would be dead if I got caught in it. Because um, I'd kill myself. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, anyways. As a resident of the state of Minnesota, yes, you are legally, you have to have a driver's license issued by the state and also a license plates by the state, right? Which makes sense. You got to do that with every state. You got to take driver's tests, all this. I had to take a driver's test here in the state of Minnesota. <laughs> I set up my appointment online everywhere in this area and in the cities late October. That's how long I'd have to wait. I have like 35, uh, it's 30 to 60 days 
to get my stuff, right? We moved in July. We've been in Minnesota a month now. So we've been here 30 days. Christ, it's hard to believe. Right? So I've only got a month left. So like October was not going to work, and especially late October. So Chloe and I found this uh, cute little small town. Sorry if I swat. There's just a fly right here for the pod. Wilbur, Minnesota. Wilmar. Fuck. I'm a local. Wilmar, Minnesota. Yes. W I L M A R, Minnesota. I go there. It's an hour and 25 minutes away. I drive all the way there for an 810 appointment. There's two people in line. There's nobody behind me. I walk right into it. Didn't need an appointment for shit. Amen. Small town. People up there, right? People up there, easy going. Yeah, come on. Where are you from? Oh, North Carolina. Why is it You know, so we do that whole eight yeah. ten conversation. I'm, of course, being as sweet as I can be. She goes, "Yep, you're in Station Four, right there. Our DMV. You walk in in North Carolina. You walk into it, and there's like eight stations just kind of spreads. Yeah. Maybe ten. No, think of every. Think of the uh, the the um, the license plate shop in Madison." Yes, the the that plate where you go to pay your tags and shit, but yeah. cut it in like cut the first third where the desk ends. That's right. that's the that's how big this place is. Okay, and then they, and then they've just got like testing booths on this side, offices and like the front desk on this side. You're on desk two, and I'm like, oh yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna go take it. Chubbs, I'm sitting here, uh uh-huh. touch screen. I'm going through it, and I'm like, yep, wrong. Why is it wrong? Yep. Okay. Yep. Take a. You have to yield to oncoming traffic. Yep. Got that. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. I go through ten fucking questions and I get four of them wrong. You can only miss eight. It's a forty question quiz. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy gets done at thirty six because you missed nine of them. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, I haven't taken a driving test since I was 16. Obviously. You got four to go, and you can only miss one more. <laughs> no, no, no. I can miss five more, but I got 30 questions to go. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, well, I got that fucking round, didn't I? Yeah, but hey, no, it's like... Think that- it's like fuck. <laughs> so I, I get to, to question thirty-seven. Obviously, it's wrong because it goes, "You failed. You only answered thirty-six, and you got forty to." And I'm like, "I just drove an hour and twenty-five minutes." Uh, so hold up, hold up. Been, dude. Swear to God, I was in there twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fail a test in twenty minutes. <laughs> oh. Dude, and I was so the first thing I thought was like, fuck, man, my dad's gonna be so disappointed in me. <laughs> uh, and hey, and that's gonna go good with our new our new segment that we're gonna have tonight. Jeff's that's, Corner. Jeff's Corner. That's gonna go good with that. And I cannot fucking believe. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me call a timeout. Can you yeah. believe I have the audacity to wear this hat? <laughs> and wearing a Model T Ford hat from old school. Oh my god! Should have had that fucking story for your mother. She would love to hear that. Oh my god, dude! Oh well, ends up. Uh, the sad story also ends with a happy ending. I went back the next day. <laughs> study. A little- <laughs> Do what? Did you study a little bit? No, because I get home and I'm like, Chloe, I need some help to study. She goes, Well, there's really no studying you can do. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. well, then she goes, Well, she goes. Oh, well, here are a few questions that I got wrong that might help you. And I was like, oh, yeah, I got that one wrong, that one wrong, that one wrong. And then I knew the three questions, now that I had the answers to, were the ones I got wrong on the test. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll just, I've seen it all once. I'll be fine. Go back the next day, flying colors. They okay. stopped me at, they stopped me at 33. Hey, can we so. do one before we go on? Take a little break. Yep, just keep Chubb's Corner, and before we go to Chubb's Corner, Dad's got to pee. All right, we got to pee. I'll read. I'll read an ad. I'll do. I'll do a little. A little you know what? I'll do it. Just go ahead. 
<laughs> All right. Can you believe the stock market these days? Up and down and up and down and crash and build, crash and build, burn and crash, burn and crash. I'm just kidding, guys. Well, Chubb's at the bathroom. I do want to let everybody know that you could find this podcast on the Anchor app or anchor.fm. Apple Podcasts, you can find it on Spotify. I mean, you can find it anywhere, really. The only thing you're going to have trouble with finding are the beers that I keep presenting or this fly that I'm about to kill with my notebook over my head. For the viewers, listeners who are not on YouTube, go check out the YouTube. This is about as big of a train wreck as I've ever been part of besides my last driving test. Oh, I almost got that motherfucker. Hey, turn around! Oh, Turn you. around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely when it's Chubbs and Brian podcast. Turn around. Those are fantastic ads. I heard them from the bathroom. Thanks. Hey, <laughs> so this this hit this fucking block. Hey, this leads into a perfect segment. Perfect. We go to Chubbs Corner. Yes, Corner. All right. Well, we're gonna point to Chubbs Corner. It's right there. But I'm going to stay right here. I'm Chubbs. Welcome to Chubbs Corner. And this motherfucker, segment that we're doing today, and hopefully we can start doing it every podcast, Chubbs Corner. This is Road Rants from Chubbs. It's me, Chubbs. Love it. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to go off what the host of this beautiful show, (laughs) Beers with Brian, just went over. Is he went to take his road test... And he's been driving for over 10 years, and he failed it the first time. So that may have a little bit to do with what I'm going to tell everybody right now. So everybody listen, this is coming from somebody that has driven 28 years safely, safe driving, almost 2 million miles of safe driving miles. So when I throw this advice out at you, please take it. Because I'm not kidding. I'm not fucking around. Please. Please. So the first thing we're going to talk about is turn signals. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, you have a steering wheel right here, right? There's this little lever over here on the left side of your fucking steering wheel that goes up and down. And guess what? That lets me know when I'm behind you of what direction you're going. Can you please use them? Please. It's simple. Hey, I'm going to the right. I got to push it up. I'm going to the right. Or if I'm going left, I got to push it down to go left. Very simple. Turn signals. That's number one. Number two. Merging speed. If anybody does not know what that means, you're getting onto a highway, right? All right. What's, what do you do in a merge lane? Well, I'm merging into traffic, and obviously traffic's going to be going 65 to 75 or 70 miles an hour. Don't fucking go 45. Hit the fucking gas and merge into traffic at the same speed that they're going. Please. Hit the gas. Don't fucking just sit there going 45 miles an hour and then sit there with your blinker on and then try to merge in, and then I got to slow down to 35 and get over to let your dumb ass in. Speed up in the merge lane. Woo! All right, here we go. This one's going to be a little bit easier. Emergency or stopped vehicles on the side of the road? Get the fuck over. There's no reason to stay in that right lane, man. There could be, especially for emergency vehicles. Cops are stopped there to stop somebody for a reason. Get over. Somebody has a flat tire. They're out there trying to change a tire. Get the fuck over and let them damn change it. What are you thinking, you selfish bastards? All right, the next thing. Listen, I've been on the road so long, I can tell that the, what the age of a driver is that is in that vehicle that's ahead of me. I promise you. I can tell they're young or old. Tell other things. We won't go there. But I can tell what kind of person they are because their personality is exactly how they drive. So if they are a selfish, me-only person, it's exactly how they drive. Your generation, son, unfortunately, you got some fucking horrid drivers. Well, we failed driving tests. So. Yeah, they, exactly. There you go. They don't use the blinkers. 
that it's about me. I'm going to get in that lane. Don't give a fuck about you. Don't even look when I get into the other lane. All that type of stuff. You know, but big trucks, all the big trucks. Listen, you guys aren't the, you're not out of the woods. I'm telling you. Less, yeah. yeah, the big truck's over there. See? Yep, that's him. See, he did not fucking signal. So the younger generation of truck drivers, too, are doing the same thing. They're just getting ahead of you and just fucking moving over, not using a blinker. Just rude, rude drivers. It, it doesn't need to be that way in this day and age, folks. Signal your intentions. Be courteous to other people while you're driving. And listen, big trucks, when you're going through the way station, they have a fucking speed limit sign. You weigh in motion before you get to it, and then it's 45 miles an hour going through it because you weigh in motion, and then you slow down to 30. 30. Not fucking 15. Maintain 30 as you're going through the scales. Please. That's all I ask. Big truck driver here. So please do that. All right. So, and I've got this written down right here. So if driving next to a big truck, 90% of the trucks are governed at 65 miles an hour. So if you're trying to pass on either side, especially on my right side, don't fucking just stay there. Either speed up past me or get behind me. Don't fucking be right next to me. I, I just, it's not good when you're right next to a fucking truck. Oh, and the last thing, and I hope everybody takes this into consideration. Get off your fucking phones. And this is actually serious, Brian. I love you. But listen, this is, this is one statistic that I looked up. One out of every four car accidents in the United States. In the United States, caused by texting and driving. Texting and driving is six times more likely to cause an accident than drunk driving. You ever thought that would happen? No. So answering a text takes about takes your attention away for about five seconds. And in that five seconds, do you know how long it takes a damn tractor trailer to stop? About a football field. So if you're not damn paying attention, bam, you're in our way. It's not good. So as I come to a conclusion... Thank you for coming to my corner and listening to me. Please be safe on the roads. Have respect for all of our emergency police. And fucking do the right thing on the road, please. All right. This is my rant. And this is Chubbs. Out of the corner. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it from the man himself. That is a new segment we like to call Chubbs Corner, where sometimes he gets real lit, real fired up about a conversation, about a peace of mind that he's been wanting to spew over into you guys' mind. So take it with everything you have, okay? It is what Chubbs is about, okay? He's about the safety of the people, okay? He's about the people, all right? We're always about the people here on the Beards of Brian podcast, okay? Thank you, homie. That's my We're always about the people. All about the people. And hey. Okay. Thanks for at least passing the test. <laughs> I know it took <laughs> but you know. Hey. Uh, what can I do but not drive up here when I work from home? That's true. That's true. But anyway. That's my passion. Hey. I hope you enjoyed it and actually learned just a little bit. But, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rant a little bit about all a bunch of stupid shit. So... So, Chubsy, what I think we need to do is go ahead and tell the people bye. Maybe get a little episode 14 whipped up real quick, huh? How you feeling? I'm feeling a little, little litty. I got a few things written right here. What I want to do is tell the people thank you for tuning in to episode 13 of the Beers of Brian podcast. Chubbs and I may work on 14 right now. We may not. That's for you guys to tune into two weeks from now. How about that, people? Huh? Chubbs, you got anything you want to say into the camera? Thank you, people. Listen, for everybody out there, I promise you, man. When when my son, when he invited me to help him, it just it's one of the funnest things I've ever done. And I hope you all can just listen and get a laugh out of it. Listen around the world, all these different countries. We love you. Thank you for listening, and please go to the Anchor app. Go to YouTube now. 
watch us, listen to us, listen to us everywhere, please, man. We're just trying to make people laugh. Hey, we quote movies, we drink beer, and we talk football and stupid shit. Anything else? No, thank you, man. I appreciate it, Brian, for having me. This is awesome. Chubbs here. That's episode 15, peeps. Check it out on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, any podcasts, especially check it out on the Anchor app. You know, we've already got an ad playing at the beginning of the episode, but look, we're going to tell you Anchor app is the easiest and best way to make a podcast. There's nothing reading here. Easiest and best way to make a podcast, you can do it from your phone or your computer, okay? You go to anchor.fm or you can download the Anchor app on your Google Play Store or App Store. What's funny is that they give you the freedom to download as many podcasts as you want, and you can still make money with no minimum listenership. I should get paid double for this. Oh, that was how it's closed, baby. Everything, all about everything you just said has to cost a bunch. Right? I need to call Anchor and be like, hey, I need to chub up my lump sum, okay? But look, Chubbs. We're going to dive right into episode 14. So everybody listening, right. the people that are out there all across the world, thank you for tuning in to episode 13 of Beers with Brian podcast. It means a lot. Love you. Let's go get- <laughs>